Dania Ramirez from the DPOC Center of West Michigan and in this video we will be talking about a second feature from the platform Zoom which is called Whiteboard. Um, in a previous tutorial we talked about how to create a new account in Zoom, how to add contacts, how to create a new meeting as well. So we will not be talking about that uh, now and uh, we will just talk about Whiteboard. Um, so I'll go down here to my app. I have already started a new meeting with my learner DR and now I want to do some things with Whiteboard. So I will go down here to share screen and the program will show me all the programs that I have open, but I don't want any of this. I just want to go directly to here to Whiteboard. So I'll share this. And as you can see, I have a white screen. My learner will see the white screen. It, he, he or she will not see whatever is in the background. Um, and so like in, with, with any whiteboard, you can go here and enter some texts and you can also draw. Um, and you have also stamps and arrows and an eraser, etc. So um, that's basically what it does. Now, what can you do as a tutor with this tool? Well, I can think of two things. If you think of other things that you could do, please uh, let me know and I will add it to the description below so other tutors can have access to those wonderful ideas. Um, and so what I'll do first is to draw. And when would you draw? Well, in, in a classroom, uh, there are many moments in which you need to draw. For example, when you're explaining the meaning of a word or when you are eliciting uh, uh, some vocabulary unit. For example, if I wanted my, uh, my learner to say, to tell me the word or the vocabulary unit, go home, um, I could just go right ahead and, you know, very uh, quickly here, draw a modest person a very a very very modest drawing here of a person um going to uh you know house you know it's not the cutest drawing maybe um maybe you're better at it i'm not really good at this but your learner will get the idea um, and in that way you can just elicit some words um or explain the meaning of, of a particular word Another thing that you can do is to work with text. So um, as I said before, you can just go ahead and type in anything that you want to show your learners. Another thing that you could do is to copy and paste. For example, I have prepared already, I prepared these four sentences that I want to work on with my learner. So I copied that and then I go ahead and create another text box and I will copy the sentences that I created. Um, now, I can have my learner, for example, read these um, sentences out loud to me and while he's talking, go ahead and change the verb in infinitive here into past tense. Um, another thing that I can do is to give control of my screen and my mouse and my keyboard to my learner by going up here to um, remote control and um, give mouse keyboard control to my learner. Now, um, as I said in a previous video, if your learner is using a smartphone, this is going to be hard because the smartphone screen is too small for this. Now, if the, your learner is using a desktop or a laptop, then this gets easier and it's much more um, fun to work with. Um, in any case, if your learner is capable of, is, is able to use a keyboard, then he can go ahead and type in here um, what you want to, you know, what, uh, the, the verb in past tense directly. Another thing that you can do is to copy from the internet. So you can go back here, for example, and we are just going to copy um, the mission statement of the Literacy Center of West Michigan, and then we're going to go back to our whiteboard, and we're going to create another text box, text box and just copy in there. And now with this, for example, I can have my learner read this sentence to me. And while my learner is reading, I can go ahead and with um, a line, 
I can just mark those words that seem to be challenging to my learner, uh, either because, you know, they don't know them or they cannot pronounce them uh, correctly. Um, I can also give control over, over, uh, over my uh, screen, my mouse to my learner, and they can mark those words that are difficult for them. Um, another thing that you could do is, and, and this is something that we have uh, done in our training, is that whenever your learner is doing small talk, uh, you could go ahead and uh, um, kind of type in here, um, take notes over what your learner is saying, and then, for example, when your learner uh, has finished talking about whatever it is that he was talking about, um, you can go ahead and, you know, type in here, um, let's just create all the drawings and, and go ahead and, for example, type here some of the things that they said. So, for example, if they say, I go to uh, the supermarket yesterday, then you know that there is a mistake here. But as usual, uh, we do not want to tell all our, our learners all their mistakes. We want your learner to recognize their own mistakes and correct them themselves. So instead of just going ahead and telling them, oh, you said this wrong, and this is the way you, you have to say it, you can just type what they said and say to them, um, there is a one mistake here, where is it? What is it, right? And so then you have, the, uh, you give your learner the opportunity to correct their own mistakes. And so those are the two ways that I see uh, to use this. As I said before, drawings and working with text and what your learner is saying. And I hope this is helpful for you. So then to get out of this uh, screen to the, from Whiteboard, you just go ahead and stop sharing there. And then you can just go back to your regular screen and to see your learner um, through the webcam. And, and this is it. I hope this is helpful for you. Again, if you can think of another um, idea, another way of using the screen, uh, the whiteboard, sorry, just go ahead and, and let me know and we will write it down in the descriptions. And that's all. So keep watching and we'll see you around.